last time on Let's Play Super Mario World NES Edition. And now, on with the show. And we're back! Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario World NES Edition. Now, there's a couple of different things this time. The first thing you probably noticed right off the bat is that you don't see the title bar on the menu bar anymore. Now, why is that? Well, when I did that, I was doing it intentionally. I figured that you know, the all LPers kind of have their own style. At least, you know, the good ones do. They have little things they do that no one else does. So I figured my little thing that I would do would be to capture the entire window. Kind of make it feel like you're actually having the emulator program sitting there right in front of you. Kind of like I'm standing over your shoulder playing the game. But first of all, I realize that's creepy as hell. And second of all, I realized that it kind of makes it look unprofessional. Like I don't quite know what I'm doing. Like I don't know how to make it not do that, even though I was actually doing it intentionally. So, I decided to just go ahead and not do that. Plus, it makes the video a little bigger. You don't have those black bars on the side, which is pretty cool. Second of all, you may have noticed that this background music now. I decided to go ahead and enable the game's music. That's actually the reason I had to switch emulators. Because on unofficial Nestor, there was no way to turn down the volume of the, just the game. I'd have to turn down the volume of everything, so my talking would be really quiet. If the background music were really quiet, and vice versa, you wouldn't be able to hear shit. So, I got this emulator called FCE Ultra which actually in its settings allows you to adjust the game's music, so I turned it way the hell down, turned the microphone to its normal setting, and everything's good. That being said, the fact that I switched emulators meant that I had to redo the game up to this point, because, you know, their save state files were incompatible with each other, which kind of sucks, but what the hell are you going to do? So, I thought you kind of might like to see what you missed, so here it is. And here we are again, and nothing of value was lost. In fact, nothing was lost at all, so I don't know why the hell I said that. Anyway, here we are at a level, I guess. Looks kind of like a donut plains, and that next thing... Is that another Yoshi house? Maybe this guy right here? No. Oh. That's probably a ghost house, isn't it? Yeah, that's gotta be a ghost house. Not looking forward to that. Considering how badly they fucked up the castle, they probably fucked up the ghost house, too. Anyways, I can't even get to imagine. Whoa! What the hell? 
Wait a minute, did I beat this all before? Hold on a second. Okay, I knew this level looked familiar. Not because I had beaten it before, but because I had failed at it before. At the end of the last video I got here, I failed a few times. So, sorry about that, I just had to check and make sure I wasn't repeating anything. At least you're not repeating anything unnecessarily. So when you die at a level over and over again, you end up having to repeat it necessarily. Yes, it is Nessa! It is very Nessa! Hey, at least he throws a space for the Oh yeah, I remember he does a fucking somersault, if I remember correctly. When I when he should die. See whoop. Maybe all this time I thought I was stomping him, I really wasn't. In any event he's no fun. Neither is this lava drossel. I've been playing a lot of new SMB lately, so I hate to say that I keep trying to do a, a butt stop here. What the? Oh, hold on. Hold on, Tails! Hold on! What the hell is that? What the hell is that? I don't know. I kinda like it. Maybe this is where that low jump will come in handy. I mentioned, I mentioned that. I think I mentioned in the fast forward video. If you hold down down, you do a special low jump, which wasn't even in Super Mario World. They added a feature. Of course, I can't get into that pipe. I think it might be because of spin jump. Nope, it's not. There's nothing there. Fug. Fug? Hmm. Maybe kind of dog, I guess. You know, they currently have. C key mapped to <laughs> to being killed by a look, dear Mr. Proudman. When I am next to the pipe, you're not supposed to come out because the instruction manuals ever since Super Mario Bros. was said that much. They say that you're scared. Only exception to this rule is in World Four of Super Mario Bros. Three, where there's those freaking huge piranha plants, and the reason they come out it's not because they're not scared; it's just because they're so huge. They don't see Mario. I don't know what your problem is. Shouldn't you be fine? I guess I wouldn't be scared of this particular Mario either. It's a pussy and a half. Being controlled by an asshole. The asshole son of a non asshole. I am laughing at something which is not funny, and is possibly even tragic. You know, I haven't yet had a non-death run where I actually got the cape. Every time I've gotten the cape, I've died. Oh, oh, oh I remember that from Super Mario World. I remember it being neat and fun, not... Deadly. That would have been deadly had I been on the ground. But ah! Maybe not even. Hello, Charge and Chuck. It's your birthday. So I'm gonna. Am I gonna even I expect too much. Okay, so I made it this far. Before I call the video, I just want to see what this is.
It's another Yoshi house. <laughs> okay, why not? Can I get an extra life for beating it? I know I wasn't paying attention. I'm at 17 now. But yes. Yes, I did. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna call it a video. Yes, it's a video. This is Doc Sigma signing off. Laters!